wrestling for me, I always had an income coming in. That wasn't a problem with me. I always had the strip clubs and the mon- of that money coming in. Wrestling for me was to be around big, stupid, crazy people like I was back in the day. You know, those guys don't exist. Big knuckleheads. Be around a bunch of knuckleheads like me. And when I wasn't having fun, I'd be like, Vince, I'm out of here, man. I'm not having fun. And then they'd call me to come back. And I'd be like, no, I'm not coming back. And they'd get me to come back. And then I'd not have fun. And I'd leave. Only time that I left is when they, I sat down with Vince and Taker. We all sat down because Papa Shango was getting in a lot of trouble when I was going through this divorce. And so we decided the best thing to do was me to go home and get my head right. And that's what happened to Papa Shango, to be honest. I was going through a bad, and that was Biker Bear. That's not this godfather you see here. That was mm. the one that Undertaker refers to as Bear. And Bear's mm. not as nice as the godfather. Bear's not a bully, but Bear don't take no shit. Bear don't smile. And that's who was showing up. And back then, there was no social media. There was no ESPN. You know, there's nothing to, to get you. So, I was getting in fights every night with takers pulling me out of fights every night. I mean, every real fights. Mm-hmm. And so we just thought it'd be best. And that's what happened to Papa Shango. That's why he had such a short run. I, I always wondered because, you know, as a, yeah, as a, me. As a... It, I was telling me, not them, it was me. Dude, I was uh-huh. getting in trouble and drinking a couple bottles of whiskey a day. I was getting in trouble. Biker trouble. Mm, <laughs> but yeah, that, no, I mean... like I said, that's the bear. I'm, you know, we keep him. That's another thing about cannabis with me. Cannabis keeps that guy away. Mm. And it and it's really put him way out there. And I know that sounds funny that I'm saying that, but anybody that knows me will say, oh, Bear's a whole different guy than Godfather. Bear's, Bear's not nice. Yeah. It, do, it, it, it doesn't sound funny. I mean, I've got friends who've dealt yeah, with a lot it, of chronic pain yeah. and issues and, and they swear by marijuana. Like, I think it's... It's crazy that in so many parts of the world it's still not legalized and we have to talk about it like it. But you don't have the same thing with drink or any other kind of form of medication. Hey, you know, bro, but it's cannabis, cannabis has kept me, you know, I know it sounds stupid from hurting somebody real bad and going to jail. And, and the reason I didn't is because of cannabis, because cannabis keeps me in a really mellow place. Yeah. And now, now it's, you know, I'm older now. I'm too old to be out there fighting people. So even. My wife says if I don't smoke it, I get a little testy. I don't think I do, but she does. But uh, I'm not that same person anymore. Plus, I'm old. I get beat up now. No, I mean, look at looking at you. I, I wouldn't want to go three rounds with you, Charles. I, I think you still got it, to be honest. <laughs> 